This video series is going to look at control system design, starting from theory and going all the way to the real-world implementation. Here are the topics we are going to cover. We will see how to develop a mathematical model of the system we wish to control. We will design a control system from first principles to make the system adequately track reference signals as well as reject disturbances. Additionally, this will give us a chance to see what factors influence performance. We will write our own computer simulation tools that can help us to check our designs before implementation. And finally, the real-world implementation, where we put our control system to the test in practice. Here we'll really be able to see how theory compares to practice. We will be covering all aspects of implementation, be that acquiring useful sensor measurements, mechanical design, electrical, and software. The controller will ultimately run on an STM32 microcontroller. The system we will be designing a controller for is what I like to call a balanced aero pendulum. When viewed side on, this looks very much like half of a quadcopter. Simply put, it is a rod balanced on a central pivot with motors connected to propellers attached at either end of the rod to provide a thrust force. This way we can control the motor's rotational speed to in turn rotate the rod about the pivot, or more specifically, to control the angle the rod makes with the horizontal. We will be using a suitable sensor located at the pivot to provide feedback of this angle. If you'd like to have a play around with this system, have a look in the description for a link to a simulation I wrote in Unity. The program simulates the real world dynamics of the balanced aero pendulum, as well as the controller. This lets you see how the system reacts to various parameter changes, such as controller gains or things like sensor noise. We'll be using this program to verify our controller designs later on, but I think it's a good idea to get a feel for how the system reacts beforehand. Before we get started, I will assume that you have learnt fundamental engineering mathematics that would be mainly differential equations and simple mechanics. I also assume that you are familiar with basic control theory and will not repeat the basics here. Things such as Laplace transforms, transfer functions, and so on. If you're not familiar with these topics, I recommend having a look at Brian Douglas's videos on control theory fundamentals before watching this series. However, after the initial theoretical part, I do hope that people without a formal engineering background can and will follow along. That being said, I'll see you in the next video where we will formulate a mathematical description of our system. I promise you it's more fun than it sounds.